Once upon a sunny day, in a town not so far away, an elephant wandered to and fro trying to find a place to go. To find a place where he wasn't alone. A place he felt he could call home. He looked up and he looked down. He looked all around the town. I don't mind if you go and leave me here on my own. I'm keeping time here just fine. It's and as Edgar walked, he began to feel that his presence was not real. There's others who want to keep a little part of your time. He couldn't find a place to stay where people wouldn't turn him away. And all at once he caught a glance of a way he thought he'd have a chance to travel his way around the world and find his own special herd. Edgar is travelling around the world because he's trying to find a place where he fits in. You see, Edgar is no different to others, but when people treat him differently, it can make him feel like the elephant in the room. As you can see in diagram A, no two spaghettis are the same. Spaghetti 1 is green, orange and slow, and spaghetti 2 is blue, red and fast. Although no two spaghettis are the same, one in four people may experience difficulty through overcooking their spaghetti. The thing about spaghetti is it's in our heads and we can't see it. Well, unless you're a super duper doctor like me. Huh. For example, exhibit 1 and 2 will show us what it would be like if people with overcooked spaghetti looked different. I have devoted the past 3,684 minutes of my life to find an equation to help people understand and not to be scared to talk about their overcooked spaghetti. Same equals different. This translates to meaning we are all different, which means that we are all the same, regardless of spaghetti or anything else that makes us different. Why then are people with overcooked spaghetti made to feel like the elephant in the room? For a genius like me, time is precious. I have to move on to my next experiment. Why am I single? But before I go, let me show you my final exhibit. What would it be like if we didn't treat people with overcooked spaghetti differently? As he travelled, he met different folk that made him feel he wasn't a joke. So now he lived with joy and laughter. Edgar lived happily ever after. Finding an equation to help people understand and not be scared about talking up. Ah, oh, let me start again. Oh, so I'll read this bit first. Read this bit oh, okay. Yeah. I have you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the first bit again? Same equals. Same equals different. Is equal to same. Start again. <laughs> I've got a memory of a goldfish. <laughs> Thank you.